Oh, you know, I was I was highly recruited for a reason. You know, I can do a lot of things on the court. I can help out in uh, a lot of different ways. So, um, just making sure I do that for my teammates. You know, being aggressive, not acting like a freshman on the court. You know, um, and so just being doing, being able to do those things is what's important for us. You mentioned your dad a couple of times here. Um, must be a powerful influence on you. Definitely, yeah. Um, to say the least, you know, um, thank God I've had uh, both my parents in my life for my whole life. Um, both been a really big influence on me. Uh, my dad um, really taught me, about, you know, what it means to be a man, what it means to take care of responsibilities, what it means to uh, fulfill your own expectations and stuff like that. And so that's where I kind of get that, that side of me from. Was he a player? No, he wasn't. My dad didn't play sports. My mom didn't play sports. Uh, my brother played football in high school and ran track. But uh, I'm the only uh, college athlete in my whole family. So. Coach had some high expectations, some high praises for you in the press conference. You hear those type of things, you know the expectations for yourself. How do you address that? How do you uh, get ready for those kind of expectations? Um, just uh, like I said before, and make sure I play my own game. Um, fulfill the expectations that I have for myself. You know, I don't want to put too much stress on uh, numbers or anything like that. Um, just make sure I do the best I can do. That's my main focus. Fran seems to have a lot of give you a lot of freedom. Is that part of the reason why you came here? And what do you think of the freedom now that? Now that you're here and, and part of the system, oh, uh, definitely. You know, nobody likes to be put in a box. Uh, obviously, especially uh, myself. I've been working for years, you know, tirelessly, day and night, just to make sure I can be multidimensional. You know, um, kind of do a little bit of everything on the court. And Fran saw that, and Fran uh, seen me work out, he seen me play, um, kind of both situations, obviously. And so he preached to me, you know, from day one he was recruiting me. You know, you're gonna be. Um, you got to be more than just a poster. You're going to be more than just a five man. You know, as my high school career went on, um, I kind of I saw that more in myself. And the fact that he's seen that before I even saw it um, was a, was a big factor for me uh, in coming here. And so uh, he's believed in me then. He believes in me now. And so in practice, it's been pretty much the same thing. In the high in the high school, I mean, you were alongside one of the great players in the country as well. Um, statistically, you know, you, he had what 30 points a game, something like that. Um, how did you stand out? You know, when you're playing next to Jason. Um, just doing everything else uh, that I could. You know, he obviously was a great player. He's number one in the country for a reason. Um, and so I was just kind of fi finding my nature within the game. You know, I know he's going to put the ball in the hole, so I just focus on okay, let me go get the misses. You know, let me um, get as many dunks as I can. You know, just how to uh, get the team involved, get the, the the crowd involved, and stuff like that. So uh, the energy is what I brought to the court for the most of the time. I think that's what people liked about me. Well, how important is it for you? You've seen the success that had in recent years, and while recruiting, that's probably something that drew you to them. How important is it for you and this team to continue that success that, that this team's had so frequently in the past? Um, you know, that's all we were really talking about. You know, um, every time we'll have a practice or a workout, you know, we got a, a text from Pete the other day. Um, just a huge paragraph on how people, you know, are kind of underestimating us, how people don't expect big things from, big things from us, but we expect big things from ourselves. And so um, I think the amount of motivation that we have for this team is incredible. Um, you know, we come in practice, you know, a couple of days ago, we didn't have a great day, but the effort was still there. And so that's kind of a big thing for us, making sure we're trying every day to get better. Um, you know, some days we're going to have off days, but um, if we just continue with that effort, you know, we're, we're going to be some, you know, force to reckon with. You seem to have a personality that's uh, more mature than a lot of people your age. And that's my perception. I don't know what yours is or anything, but do you uh, do you see that in yourself? And, and when did you kind of build that, you know, just kind of carry yourself the way you do? Um, I think it's just kind of the way I grew up, you know. Um, went through a lot of things in my, my young childhood that a lot of kids don't have to go through. Um, not saying that, you know, I'm you know, any less fortunate than anybody else, you know, I've been blessed, you know, I've lived in a family with my, both my parents, you know, I got a brother. Um, but, you know, the experience that I went through in my life kind of kind of helped shape who I am now. And so um, just growing up, seeing those things, seeing my big brother show me what not to do, you know, stuff like that is kind of um, kind of what gave me that uh, more mature edge. And so um, I think, you know, all of the young guys like this too, we all have a, a playful side, obviously have a joking mm -hmm. side, but when it comes to business, we're, we're all business. Kelly, you have to really like Nicholas Bear when you get here. Almost an opposite.